say, <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. Yuck. Cliché much, A.W. and B.W.? If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. This trash can is in pretty high demand. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Wait, is that the same AW as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. My hierarchy of needs goes pot... Then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. There's gotta be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Whoa, that's badass. Wonder if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder.
I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Press got power, activate. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? <laughs> no matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. 
Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. All right, let's see. Why do we always hold hands like this? Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? Exactly. Wanna see? Only if you let go of my hand first. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. Oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble! Go get help! I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me! Look at Baywatch over here! Aw, uh, I don't remember how to do CPR! Wah! It's time to nut up or shut up! Watch out! I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. Okay, okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Wow, 
I'm all better now. You saved my life. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. Here, you earn this. Thanks. <laughs> could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, 
With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? A... a real friendship. I thought Chloe Price doesn't need friends. I... I thought so too... before today. I... I guess it's easier to be alone if you decide it's a choice. I'm sorry... for whatever I did or... didn't do. Today was the best day I've had since... since my dad died. And I screwed it up somehow. Like I screw everything up, because... I'm a fucking screw-up. Chloe... Please. I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm sorry, Chloe. I can't say why, and I know it isn't fair. But I can't be your friend right now. Can't or don't want to. Does it matter? I'm really sorry. Goodbye, Chloe. Fuck. This. Place. <laughs> Fake and hollow. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Dad.
Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. my marker I guess I did that gotta say that was some fight <laughs> she nearly took your head off what do you care sorry sweetheart I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Oh, there it is. Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it.
You came. I'm glad. Are you sure about that? I got kind of a different message this afternoon. Yeah. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. No one's ever safe. Yeah. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't... Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Meeting you, this friendship, it means more to me than you could possibly imagine. I just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay.
Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. No one steals from me. I want my fucking money! <laughs> <laughs>